Ooh, welcome man, welcome back to the channel guys. Y'all recognize this? Yes, y'all recognize this outside. It's not in the shop no more. Check this out. But, hey, pop this hood for me, man. Fire this up. Yes, I know y'all recognize this, man. Where we heading now to the detail department. Okay, we're about to get this thing washed. Now, we did have to, I did have to go to a uh, sublet, another shop. And that was, that was to get uh, the AC evacuated and recharged. So, but what I'm going to do. Let me uh, fire this thing up so y'all can get a whiff of how it sound, guys. I remember, uh, it's a Savage Eye engine, but I keep saying this. I know y'all tired of hearing me say this, but we went proactive. We act proactive on it. We went ahead and uh, uh, replaced everything that's known to fail on the engine. Valve train rise. Look at that. Y'all hear how quiet that is? Well, y'all can't hear. We about to go out there in a second. AC cold. Uh, thing about the AC guys, we was forced to do uh, AC service. Some of some of these cars, you can remove the AC compressor without actually removing the AC compressor. In other words, opening up the system. But we had no choice because it was in the way and it was binding, so we had to get it out the way. So naturally, we had to take it out. We had to drain the freon, take the compressor off. But in order to properly, that's the key word here. In order to properly get the AC back up and running. We had to sublet. We had to go to All Park Garage. They have the machine that we use to properly evac and recharge a one, two, three, four Y A system. So that's where we just come from. This is where he just come from. Now the AC is properly evacuated and charged, and now the AC cold. So the only thing we got left, he's coming to get it today. We've already called him. Uh, you ready to go? You good to go? But I do not want to deliver this vehicle in this condition and what i'm talking about is appearance all right so we're gonna head over to the detail department uh get it clean up detail i want the engine clean guys if it's gonna run like a new engine it might as well look like a new engine okay yes it's dirty because we've been working on it but i want it to be clean clean so we're gonna degrease it y'all hear that not a sound all right as in before I think I'm going to put the, the, when I first started this vehicle up right here. Sure, you know, we're getting ready. I can start. It's okay to start it, guys. We're getting ready to replace it, right? Uh-oh. Y'all see that rotary shifter? This truck is likely equipped with a ZF. Uh, hey, look at that. 170,000 miles. I might have to tell my man uh, it's time for a transmission service. All right. Oil change required. Check in. Y'all see that light flash? Y'all know what that means? Misfire right away. Okay. Yes. It's picking up a misfire as we speak. That's called active, guys. So, yes. He has some internal issues going on. Now, I hear a ticking and I see a misfire. What do those two have in common? A lot. Y'all hear that tick? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all remember the old days you can grab the throttle? I don't know. No, guys, it's our ETC, Electronic Throttle Control, so there's no... Yeah, it has a bad misfire. Now, guys, y'all are aware there's a couple of things that can cause this misfire, all right? Uh, you know, but for the most part, we're going in with an engine that do not have any problem, hopefully. But uh, So, I tell you what, guys, here's the deal I make y'all. Once we get this out, I'm not sure there's a core on it, we will tear it down, all right? Now... From my understanding, the engine had he got is a low mileage, come out of a low mileage of vehicle. So that that's enough right there to give a customer peace of mind. But yes, this has a ticker and it's misfiring. They very well could be related. In other words, a rock arm could cause the ticking and the misfire. You just don't know until you tear it apart. But nice truck, guys. Nice, very nice, good looking truck. Like I say, guys, um, starting to pick up business off youtube so if you're looking for us we are in the atlanta area so hopefully you're in the atlanta area it's hard to have a car towed somewhere to another state that's mechanics all over but i like this truck my man so we're gonna get him up and going man we, due to the fact that we have the parts here the, they delivered the engine the other day i want to say so we'll jump right on this guys ain't no sense wasting time when we first went out to inspect it he dropped it off, towed it there, dropped it off. 
I went out to crank it up and this is what I heard. But now listening to it now, you couldn't even tell um uh, you couldn't even tell nothing was ever wrong. So I gotta get a a cap for that. Um uh, like I say, I, I don't like delivering vehicles in this condition. Even though you we don't have to, it's not a thing about uh have to guys, it's your image at stake. Alright? Again, if the engine's gonna run new, guess what? It might as well sound new or look new. That's the word I'm looking for. It might as well appear to be new. So we got some old um, issues to deal with. It's a nice truck, man. Look at this. This is a beauty. Well, the sun gonna drown it out. Uh, the sun gonna drown out my. Uh, I got a cap for that. 1500 quad cab, baby. I don't want to go through all this, you know, personal things, but. Just want y'all to know we done, guys. What, what What's next? I always say that. What's next? You really want to know what's next? Because there's quite a bit that's next. Two Hemis sitting in the floor at the shop right now. One uh, engine install and one a bill. So, yes, there is a lot of next. All right. So, um, that's about it, man. That's all I have to say. I just wanted y'all to hear the final product. Guys, Brothers Motors, okay? I'm in the Atlanta area, Snailville area, uh, Atlanta, Georgia area, okay? So, uh, like I say, this truck was towed to us by the customer after verbal discussion, all right? So, but if you yours drive, might as well drive it out there. Be prepared to leave us with us, guys. We're not set up to look at something quite, you know, fairly quickly. We're just not set up right there, like that right now. We, we don't have loaner cars and things like that. So, um, yeah, let me let this guy by. Look at that Ford. Uh-uh, buddy. Get on out of here with that Ford. Oh, you Ford. Hey, that's a limited. F-150 limited. But it ain't got nothing on this, baby. <laughs> y'all be honest. What y'all want? The Dodge, the Ram 1500, or the Ford F-150? Be honest with your boy. It's okay, guys. I'm not going to dislike you or anything like that. Everybody like what they like. Look at that. They about to go head up right now. That's a Ram and a Ford F-150. They about to duke it out? I don't know. Is they fussing? Look like they fussing. Let's see who got the most power. Why don't y'all just go head to head? Lock up head to head and see who can push this, you know, the next one back. Guys, I'm acting immature. Shame on you, JT. This is a real video I'm filming here. So, uh, yeah, let's get this thing detailed, guys. All right, next time I see y'all, we'll be uh, working on that Hemi, man. I'm going to put some little bonus footage on the end of this video. All right, that's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching.